Hi guys, so this is Abs from the Star Trek mod and also the September 39 mod. And today I'm here to talk to you about the creation of static cargo animations. Um, the reason that I'm making this video is to, is to show you from start to finish how to get a static cargo animation into the game uh, for a custom vehicle that you are creating. So you're going to need a couple of things. Obviously one of them is going to be oxygen or O2 and another tool is going to have to be bin PBO and you're going to need the sample models from Arma 1, specifically the BI Skeleton P3D. So go ahead and open that up and uh, we're going to make sure that the animations window is open. That is the little window over here if you have that handy. And before we do anything else, because we know that we're building this for a custom chair in an add-on, we are going to import that model as well. Well, not import but just copy and paste. So give me a second while I go ahead and grab a seat. Haha, <laughs> get it? Anyway, bad joke, sorry. So I'm just going to grab those, hit Control c to copy, and then Control v to paste. If you press F9, you'll see that it showed up. And just move the chair to approximately where you want the character to sit. If you press X, it'll only limit it to the X axis. Y does the Y. Z only zooms in. Sorry, guys. So we have the chair approximately where I want our character to sit. So we're almost ready to start animating. The first thing you want to do is create a selection here. Um, it copies over the selection name. Let's just redefine it to be on the safe side. This way, whenever you click something else, if you need to go back to the chair, it's there for easy selecting. All right. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to create a brand new keyframe. What keyframes are are different points in the animation. Um, once we've created that, we're going to rename this one to minus 0 0.50000. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want the first frame of the animation, which is always going to be this name, to be the default pose of the character. After that, you can create a new frame, which is going to be at time 0, which is perfectly fine. Now the last thing that we have to do before we continue is go to the points menu, transform 3D, and click on show local axes. Now, you can see that there are a ton of duplicate selections in here, left forearm, left forearm. The difference here is the dash. Why the dash exists is, well, the best way to do it is to show it by example. When you select left arm, you see that it only selects a little bit. When you select left arm with the dash in front of it, it selects the whole left arm. So basically it selects the bones that are defined plus the bones underneath that hierarchy, which is wonderful because that's exactly what we want to do. Now I'm going to make this a quick and dirty animation, it's not going to be anything fancy just because every animation is going to be different, you're not really going to learn much, so I could just uh, really quickly show you the techniques. So in this window, we're just going to make it look like he's sitting down with his legs all the way out. So if you click on left up leg, and then hold the control button and use the right mouse and then you can move it around. So we're going to do that for the left leg and then we're going to do the same thing for right up leg. I guess I probably could have done both of them by selecting them at the same time but geez this is really hard to do. Anyway so there we go. Let's call this our brand new animation. If we take a look at it here it's nothing fancy but whatever it does the job. At least we can see it's a custom animation, and now we're going to get it into the game. So, now that we have the animation set, we're going to have to save the RTM. Oh, I lied. We're going to have to create one more keyframe, 0 to 1. Um, this does not show 1.000, so what you do at this point is auto time 1, and there we go. So, if we check it, haha, see, this did not work out the way that I wanted. I should have been editing this keyframe first but I accidentally edited this one. No big deal. All we'll do is we'll rename this one to 0 0.001 for now. And then just do a quick bit of renaming. And then rename this one so that it is 0 as well. So, static pose, brand new anim animation stages, and now we have, we, we have this ready to export. So the first thing you want to do is delete this because it's going to export everything as part of the RTM and if it doesn't see the definition for the selection inside of the models.config 
then it's just going to get confused. Click on delete empty, it'll delete any other empty selections. And now we're ready to save. So there's two stages to saving. The first one is saving the P3D. Now some people will say that you don't have to, but I have a very good reason for doing this. So we can see that in my vehicles data anims folder, I have saved this as P3D. Then you're going to export the matrices. Now we're going to do it in the same way. And you're just going to call it RTM. Great. So now we're done here. Close this. And then we are ready to start moving into the actual model and creating the proxies. So I'm just going to start in the zero view lod. And it's a little bit difficult to see right now. So I'm just going to hide a few things by pressing Control H. Great. So this makes it a lot easier to see, I hope. All right. So what we want to do, we want to create a cargo proxy for this chair over here. The way that you do that, you click on Create and then Proxy. And then you browse for the P3D file that we saved. Great. Has a path, has a name. Click OK. There it is right there. Shuttle Cargo 1. There it is. The proxy is the red triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to move it to a place where it looks like it's actually sitting in our chair. So that seems about right from that side. And then we'll move it over here on the x-axis. Now, the way to check to see whether or not your man or your character is actually sitting in the chair, right-click Shell Cargo, and then click on Extract Proxy. And as you can see, we've done a pretty decent job of approximating what it is. Let's just confirm that. And eh, it looks all right. Now, if it didn't look all right, just hit Control Z to undo the extraction, and then just move the proxy around, and then check it again afterwards. You can only do this if you have the P3D file for it, which is fine. So there we go. He looks like he's sitting in there with his back resting and his feet up, kicking the chair in front of him like an a-hole. So hit Control Z. Now, one more step that we have to take before we can actually save this and say that it's ready is renaming the proxy. For some reason, and I don't know why, I haven't really tested this out completely, making your own may not necessarily work. It might, it might not. Either way, let's just call this cargo because I know that it works this way. Click OK. If you have to make new ones, you can go ahead. It'll automatically rename the 001 afterwards, and those will be the cargo positions um, which the AI or whichever characters will get into in turn. So we're ready for that. We have this selected. This will show up in LOD 0. You're going to want to hit Control c while the proxy is selected and copy them over to all the other view logs that you want the animation to show up in. In this case, we want it to be in the pilot, cargo, and gunner proxy. So we have everything done. There's nothing further that we have to do in the model. So hit Control s to save it, and then just exit out. And the final stage that we have to do is writing the config. So here's my config for the existing shuttle, which is great. And then after that, we're going to write out the configuration. So I've been debating whether or not I should, actually, I should actually write it out or if I should just copy and paste it. I'm just going to copy and paste it and talk about it a little bit. <coughs> so we're adding a class, config moves basic. These ones are just inheriting it from the existing config moves basic that exists in the game. And under man actions, we're adding shuttle cargo one. And the reason that we're adding that is because the next class grabs it from config moves basic and we have shuttle cargo one here. Now I'm not exactly a configuration expert as far as I'm concerned I'm not sure if the man actions is necessary but let's just leave it in there because it seems to work again so don't deviate it may not be necessary because you're creating it here and it's inheriting from crew I'm not sure but if it works don't break it right so here we go the file parameter is just pointing to your uh, PBO name and the folder where you have the RTM listed interpolate 2 means when somebody dies, what animation do they take? In this case, they're taking the A10 pilot position. Obviously, if you want to be thorough, you'll just create a new one, etc., etc. And then the second place we have to create a config is for the vehicle itself. And the line that we have to put there is cargo action. So you're just saying cargo action, shuttle cargo one, which is what we defined up above. So hit Control S to save it. And then you're ready to make your PBO. So just go to tools, pack it, and while this is packing, I'm going to let you know that I'm stopping this video because 
Camp Studio Recorder does not record in game, so I have to switch over to Fraps. Plus, this is taking a while. Okay, it's done now. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.